Hello dear friends, this is Yule Humphreys and I'm glad to be here to share with you a word from the Lord. And this word is from the book of, <coughs> of the wonderful Bible. It's a word of God I believe it will be a word for you and I believe it will be a word that will bless your life and cause you to know the way of the Lord. And that it's right that you should walk therein and God will bless you. I've entitled it Shine for the Savior. Shine for the Savior. We need to shine. The Bible says over in John the 8th chapter, Jesus said unto them, I am the light of the world. He that follows me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. Oh, praise God. He is the light of life. And He gives that life to you and me when we come to Him by faith and trust Him as our Lord and Savior. I want you to trust Him, dear friend. He loves you very much. One day we're going to stand before Him. One day we're going to stand and give account. And it'll make all the difference in the world whether you believe in Him down here or whether you've rejected Him. If you believe in Him, He's going to bring you into His kingdom and He's saying, enter into the kingdom which is prepared for you from the foundation of the world. Or He will say, depart from me, for I never knew you. You never did accept me. And you'll be cast out into hell. The Bible teaches that we'll be cast out into hell unless we have our sins forgiven. And the only one that can forgive our sins is Jesus Christ. He's the only one that paid for our sins upon that cross. He paid for your sins, all of them, so that when you believe in Him as your Lord, then you're clean, you're forgiven forever, all your sins, past, present, future, all of them forgiven forever. And you may become a child of God. You will not be perfect. You will still make mistakes. But you need to just confess them and say, Lord, forgive me. But they're already forgiven. It'll just keep your heart right when you confess them. And the blood of Jesus Christ, His Son, cleanses us from all sin. And so I want you to believe that. He's the light of the world. You're in darkness until you come to Jesus. Come to Him and you'll find the light. You'll find light that may, gives meaning to the you know, problems you face. Gives meaning to the blessings that come to you every day. And you begin to recognize the fact that the whole life that you're living is a life that's commensurate with Jesus and goodness and grace. And God is going to be your strength forever. And so I want you to notice that He is the light of the world. He's shining for you. Oh, come to that light. It shineth for thee. How sweetly that light has dawned upon me. Once I was blind, but now I can see. Oh, the light of the world is Jesus. <clears throat> and then I want you to notice another truth. And that is when you accept Christ as the light of your, of your life, <clears throat> you become light in this world. The Bible says over Matthew 5, 5th chapter, and uh, verse says, 14. Jesus said, You are the light of the world. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hid. Neither do men light a candle and put it under a bed, but they put it on a candlestick that it may give light to everyone that's in the house. So let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven. And so you are the light of the world. This old world's in darkness. Oh, how they need, the world needs a light. And you become a light. You become a light that shines for the Lord. You say, well, I'm not much. You don't have to be much. I'm not much either. But God's using me as a light. And when He uses all of us, we have a great light. We have a great light. I was several years ago in the presence of a stadium crusade by Billy Graham. And as I went in, it was, it was dark. It was getting dark. And as we went in the gate, uh, ushers gave us a little book, of little paper book of matches. And I put them in my pocket. We went on and sat down. And there was about 75,000 people there that night. Fill the stadium. Praise the Lord. <clears throat> and Billy Graham began to speak. All the great lights were burning. And he began to speak and he said, We're the light of the world. You are the light of the world. Now you may not be much, but he said, When you... Light, when you put together with all the others Christians, there is a great light. 
Now he said, I'm going to ask the, the electric, electric engineers to cut out all the lights. All the lights went out and it was just dark. And I couldn't even see the stadium. I couldn't see Billy Graham nor the other side of the bleachers across the field. Dark. Now he said, you've got a little book of matches. I want you to take one little match and strike it and hold it up. I took that little book of matches and I struck one little match and held it up. <coughs> 75,000 people did the same thing. It's amazing how that whole stadium lit up under the light of a little match. But there were 75,000 of them burning. So you see, dear Christian, you're not by yourself. You're, not <coughs> excuse me. you're shining. And you're shining with others. <coughs> and by the grace of God, that will light up the whole community where you are. And God will bless you. And so it's important that we know this is a truth we need to see. You're the light of the world. And the Lord is saying to you, I am your light. Let me shine in you. Let me walk with you, talk with you, live in you. <coughs> Excuse me. Over in the book of 2 Corinthians, in the third chapter, verse 18, it says, We all with open face, beholding as a glass the glory of the Lord, are, are changed into the same image of the Lord from glory to glory even by the Spirit of the Lord. And what he's saying here is that Christian he's saying that you are growing more and more in the grace of God and you're becoming more and more like Jesus. And that as you read your word and as you pray as you confess, as you love, as you go on and believe and do your best just to serve God and let the Lord work through you, then you become more and more like Him. And from glory to glory, that means that from day to day and month to month, we grow, we grow more and more into His image. More and more into His image. Looking more like Him. Talking more like Him. Thinking more like Him. Living more like Him. And we need to do this because it's important that we know this is important. This is God's way. The light of the world. You're shining for Jesus. You're shining for the Lord. Uh, several years ago, several years ago, I was had the privilege to go to a youth conference. And the main speaker was waiting to speak. And, and the main speaker was introduced. He started up to the, to the microphone and to the podium. And I thought, well, this is going to be a stalwart young man with a, with a vibrant appearance, you know. And the, young, the person that walked up there was crippled. He walked with a limp. And he got up to the podium and he didn't, his appearance was very negative. He didn't seem to me to be powerful and, and bright and stalwart in any way to be a leader among men. Here he was the main speaker for the Conference of Young People. But then he began to speak. And as he began to speak and to talk, his words became alive. And they touched my heart and many other hearts. And oh, in a little while, he looked like a champion standing there, a bright warrior or a knight in white armor. He was speaking with power. The Spirit of God was with him. And light, the light of God was shining through him. And he was blessed. And he was a blessing. So you see, it's not what you look like physically. It's what you got spiritually that counts. Outside is something that's going to be all oh, soon taken away. But inside, there's a living, living hope that'll never die. There's the bright power of the Spirit of God that'll live forever. And in your heart and your spirit that lives forever is where the light shines. And it'll shine through you. And it'll shine for you. And for your family and loved ones. And for others out there that need you. Oh, praise God. But your secret is to get close to the main light. The light of the world is Jesus. So we need to see that. Press on, but trust in the Lord. Oh, trust in the Lord. And someone I'm talking to right now, you're in a predicament and you need help. I want you to know, dear friends, there's one standing by to help you right now. He loves you. He is saying to you, forget the past. Forget your mistakes. Look to me. I love you. 
They're all forgiven when you look to me and ask for it. I'm yours. All you have to do is take me as a gift. I come to you. Open the door of your heart and let me come in and live with you and in you to give you the power and the peace oh, that you need to live for God and I will be your light to shine in your darkness. Oh, He'll do it. He'll hold your hand. He'll lead you on to the promised land. Oh, precious Lord, take my hand. Lead me on. Let me stand. I'm tired. I'm weak. I'm worn. Oh, take my hand, precious Lord. In Thy will I will walk. And let me know you'll never leave me nor forlorn. Take my hand, precious Lord, lead me home, let me stand. Oh, praise God, I am trusting in you. I'm trusting in you, and God bless you, dear friend. God will bless you and bring you home, and he'll bring you home with your light shining because he loves you, and he'll never leave you. In Jesus, praises God to Him. In Jesus' name, Amen.